Hi, my name is Vasil, and welcome to Vasil Cooks Around the World. Eats around the world? Tries cuisine from around the world? I don't know, we're still working on the title. So, we're gonna start with Afghanistan. Yes, I'm gonna keep it simple, just go in alphabetical order. I might change it up later, who knows. And so today, we're making Afghan chicken and yogurt, aka Lavand e Merg. L Lavand. Levand Emerg? Give me one second, I'm gonna look that up. So after my extensive research, I still don't know how to pronounce it. If you can let me know down below how to say it phonetically, like just write it out, make it simple for me. All right, thank you. And so with all that intro out of the way, let's get into the food. You're gonna need two cloves of garlic. So go ahead and smash the garlic and then peel it. You're gonna crush the garlic, cut it up. I just wanna say up front, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? So take everything I'm doing and saying with a grain of salt, please. And then add a little salt. Like, it said make it into a paste, but I've never seen garlic paste. And when I think paste, I think like glue. So I'm not really sure what the consistency is gonna look like, or what it's supposed to look like, I should say. That looks like a paste, right? Added the salt, you guys saw the salt? All right. All right, so I changed the angle. I think this will work better in the future. Again, work in progress. I don't know what I'm doing. Next, peel some garlic. Chop it up finely. I guess this is finely chopped. So into the marinade it goes. Now you just need to add 100 milliliters of water. Next, weigh out 600 grams of chicken, and then cut that into bite-sized chunks. I myself use some breast, but thigh is recommended. Next, go ahead and throw the chicken into your marinade. Add some salt and pepper, and you've got yourself some marinade. Don't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty. Just mix, mix, mix. Go ahead and set aside the chicken in the fridge. Next, grab a good handful of coriander, AKA cilantro, Remove the stems and chop finely. Put the cilantro to the side. Next, grab a good handful of parsley and then do the same. And just like with the cilantro, finely chop the parsley. Add the parsley to the cilantro and set aside for later use. Weigh out 300 grams of some Greek yogurt. Add a tablespoon of white flour and go ahead and give that a good mix. You're gonna wanna mix it until there are no lumps left. Once thoroughly mixed, leave aside at room temperature. Grab one large onion, cut it in half, and then cut it again into thin crescents. And then set the onions aside because like everything else, we're gonna be using it later. Now grab yourself two green peppers. I myself use serrano and cut them up into little pieces. Set the green peppers to the side. In a small bowl, add one teaspoon of ground turmeric and a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom, AKA cilantro. In a frying pad, add two tablespoons of oil and bring that up to a medium heat. Fry the herbs until they start to darken and dry up, but not burn. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see, I tasted mine because I wasn't sure what to look for. It tasted pretty good, actually. Next, add two tablespoons of oil into a skillet and bring that up to a medium heat. Once hot, add your onions. Now add your onions to the skillet and cook them until they soften. It should take about eight to 10 minutes. You're gonna wanna stir regularly. Season with some salt and pepper. Now stir in your green peppers with the onions and cook them until they soften. It should take about two to three minutes. Now you're gonna wanna add your spices, the turmeric and the coriander, AKA cilantro, and cook that for another 15 to 20 seconds, stirring constantly. Finally, you're gonna wanna add your chicken along with the marinade. You're gonna wanna cook this for four to five minutes, stirring occasionally. You're gonna want most of the water to be evaporated. 
Now turn down the heat to low, add your herbs along with the oil they were cooking in, and mix well. Don't forget that room temperature yogurt. You're gonna wanna mix that in well and then slowly bring it to a boil. Once simmering, put on a lid and leave on low heat until the chicken is fully cooked through. Now it's time to remove the lid and give it a good whiff. Oh, it smells so good. It's plating time. In a bowl, add some cooked white rice along with the stew you've just made. Add a lemon for garnish. And we're done. All right, you guys, it's finally time to try it. Forget what it's called. One second, I gotta look at that. So, Afghan chicken and yogurt, AKA Lavand Emerg. I'm definitely not pronouncing that right. Please let me know how to pronounce it down below. All right, let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so good. Huh. That is very good. That is very tasty. Afghanis, Afghanistan. I mean, I know there's multiple tribes. I don't know what <clears throat> tribe this is specific to. Um, but whoever, you, whoever this is like specific to, you guys, you guys like. Mm. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys made this at home and enjoy it too. Peace. Until next time. Please like and subscribe. Follow our channel for more. I've been Facil. Out.